Yo, what's up, YouTube? Rico Jackson here. Project Studio TV. Rico shot me. Bow, bow. Just checking in with y'all, man. On the, uh, Just a little something I just wanted to touch base with the people about, get some opinions about. Um, the Khalif Browder story on Netflix just dropped. If you haven't watched it, if you haven't heard about it, um, it's titled Time, the Khalif Brown story. I'm sorry, the Khalif Browder story. Um, about the young man, 16 year old from New York That was arrested 2 o'clock in the morning Walking home from a party um, Because he was identified by Somebody who said that He allegedly tried to rob him Or did rob him of a backpack Two weeks prior Or somewhere around that time Weird situation um, And unfortunately in in a lot of states, but in the state of New York, if somebody accuses you, go to the police and say, hey, this person robbed me or they assaulted me. The police have the duty to actually at that point, if they see you or the person points you out to come arrest you. So that's what this young man was faced with at the time. And um, it goes like I, I was very I've heard about this story before. I'm not sure if many people have. Because a lot of these stories you hear about And they're so shocking when they first They kind of first come out And Then they, they lose steam Because nobody's talking about it anymore it's not, the, it's not the trending topic of the day anymore So It's not the trending topic of the day anymore So Nobody talks about it anymore So um, It was like It went away for a while and you get updates here and there So maybe some news station will bring it up um, But then you really hear nothing about it You hear no follow up You hear no changes being made it's, But I'm glad Netflix And uh, the producers got together And did uh, did something with this um, And the directors And the the, the, uh, the Browder family um, It was very well uh, I think put together Very informative I mean when you want to talk about not just the justice system, because it, it goes beyond that. You look at, I, I don't want to give too much of the way to you. I know some of y'all may not watch it, um, but the people that do go and watch it, I think even no matter what I'll say, you will get the information and, and, and it'll still be like, oh, wow, I really understand what you're saying. And it gives you a perspective, not just on the justice system, but on a mental health system, how in shambles it is when, when you have people with, and I'm not, I'm not talking about, um, Khalif Browder um, being mentally unstable or anything like that before he was arrested um, but just the fact the mental state that people are in in our society today is, is crazy how you can have a group of, of officers that are, are sworn to protect and serve I don't care if you work on the streets or you work inside of a jail you take a duty to protect and serve you understand what I'm saying this kid is He's not guilty He's awaiting trial At 16 years old Rikers Island We all know the stories of Rikers um, I always tell people all the time Man, if you're going to go to jail Man, don't go to jail in California New York Or overseas Where you don't speak no 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 English Or speak your language No no no, no bueno You know what I'm saying it's just, That's just the real talk And when you get an environment like that, a kid like him, a hundred some pounds soaking wet, under 150, short, 16, never been to, to jail. That's prison, really, um, for something that you didn't do. And it's not like there was any evidence and things like that. So, you know, I'm, I'm old school, man. I'm, I'm straight, like I tell you all the time, real 80s baby, Dade County cut. You know what I'm saying? So it's a lot of things like going society in different areas. I just can't get down with like I, I use this layman's term. It, it sounds like it's joking, but it's something that everybody can understand. Like it used to be. Listen to me. It used to be honor amongst thieves. And those are true words. Those are true words. Like nowadays, nobody respects the, in every in every hood, every every city is different. How you, how the lingo go, you know what I'm saying? Woody, woody, yaddy, yaddy, however you want to say it. 
but it's the, it's the code. It's, it's a code of ethics, code of streets. It's the G code. It's, it's a code that that people don't live by no more these days. You know, and everybody understand. I don't care if you've been to jail, you haven't been to jail. It's just a fact of life. No matter where you go, you know, it's a respect thing. You know, if somebody come to you, especially in this situation, you in jail, I'm watching this young man, Khalif. Um, this this young man here, man, he he. If 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 half the if half the people had the heart that this young man had, you know, as a, as a society, you know, I'm not I I don't know this man personally. I'm watching his actions. I'm watching his words. I'm watching his mannerisms when he's speaking to the police. You know, this is not a bad kid. He 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 went to jail before for joyriding in a bread truck. At 15, 14, 15 years old, who wouldn't you know? Who doesn't think about hey man, let's go steal the bread truck? It, that's that's funny. It's not. Malicious. It's not. We finna go steal a bread truck, kill the driver of the bread truck, and you know, go rummage the village with the bread truck and and do whatever we can do on a massacre killing spree with a bread truck. You know, the significance of a group of teenagers in a city like New York, in a in a borough like the Bronx, um, stealing a bread truck at at some point of the day may be the highlight of your day. And like I say, not malicious, but just that's what kids do. You steal a bread truck and you ride around the hood and you, hey man, we got a bread truck. And you jump out and you leave it somewhere and, and everybody got free bread for a few days. It's, it, I, I, what's the harm in that, you know, and for a kid to get slapped with a felony charge for stealing a bread, for joyriding in a bread truck where nobody was hurt or injured, nothing was lost, you know, it's almost like, wow, are, are we really setting the, the, the kids up to fail just like that. So when I look at this young man, 16 years old, his hardest strike was joy riding in a bread truck. And he's he's in Rikers. And I go back to the code, the ethic. Everybody know you don't you don't let nobody punk you. No matter I don't care if you're in the streets or you in jail. That's just that's just how it goes. You don't you stand your ground. I don't care if you get beat down. You get back up, you get beat down. You don't let nobody punk you without going out for yours. And this young man here, I don't care how many dudes was around. You not finna punk this young man. He told you straight up, he not with the program. And, and this program, I don't understand this program here. Maybe that's how, how they get down up in New York or whatever. And I don't understand if if somebody come to you, say, hey man, you finna get down with the program. I want your commissary. I want your phone time. I want your socks. I want, I want all that. And... They say no, I'm not getting down with that, and they bump heads with you. You throwing hands. Usually, how the game usually go, how the game's supposed to go, the man stood up for his. He threw down like a man. He ain't punk up. You know, hey, if I if I'm gonna take this man's stuff, I, we finna it's gonna be a bump every time. So usually, real recognized, real and say, man, you know what? He a stand up kind of dude. He stand off to himself. He's always by himself. He ain't causing no problem. I ain't gonna rock with him. I'm gonna say, hey, I'm gonna leave him alone. What I seen was a pack of kids that have been allowed to turn a, a unit, or how many units there is, into a freaking a lion's pen, you know? And I don't care how tough you is. I don't care. You can fight one, you can fight two. But every day, if if one don't want to give you a fair shot and everybody wants to jump you and the guards are standing there watching. At some point, who who says, yo, 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 he done had enough like. The man ain't finna, he's not finna fold like this. He's, he's a stand up dude right here. But their mentality was like, no, we're going to keep beating you up. All of us. Because you was a stand up dude. Now, in what society is that real? In what society is that, does that make you the hardest nigga on the streets? Does that make you real? I watched the commentary of some of the other inmates who was with them and was beating on the young man. And they was sitting there. Some of them on their face was kind of embarrassed to see, like, okay, oh, man, yeah. Nah, maybe that wasn't cool. A couple of other ones was talking like they were still hard. And these are the same dudes on the streets. You see them by themselves in a the dark alley. They're running the other way. And it's too many. It's too many people in our society like that who join this. Uh, they have this gang mentality to where you can't just be neutral. 
you can't stand for what you want to stand for by your own and 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 everybody has to be cool with it see this young man he was placed into a situation to where he's frustrated one he has no money his family's is i i don't want to say poor i would say his family's poor they're not in poverty but they're poor but they live in the richest city in the world you can you talk about new york city nothing happens without going through new york city so how can you allow a, a, a if we if we're going to be technical and we're going to stick with the american laws and and rules you're not guilty until you're proven guilty correct so if this young man is sitting in this jail with not one shred of evidence and he can't make a $900 bond but he's allowed to be beat upon not just by other inmates but by staff not given a speedy trial his due process he really didn't receive any due process so where is this okay so for this documentary to come out i hope it i hope it shakes and rattles some people and open the eyes to the fact that we have some sick people in this world and then it may not be because they actually have mental illnesses it may be because they have been conditioned to just saying okay i'm going with the norm they're starting to say oh i guess that that's okay because everybody else is doing it you know these jail systems are being built as privately owned slave factories it's as simple as that you work you make somebody else rich for a crime that you did or you did not commit so Khalif Browder you have a young man who was mentally tormented every day physically every day verbally every day When a young man say, give me a head up, everybody know what a head up mean. Like I say, Dade County, a head up, you going one on one. Ain't no jumping in. It ain't, it's no jumping in. If it's jumping in, then it's going to be a riot. It's going to be, it's not just going to be 20 dudes on one dude. Is that don't, that's not how you get down. That's not, that's not real. So for this, so for this kid here, I mean, to go head up, he don't care who it was. Just to say, I'm not taking a plea deal. I'm not saying I took somebody's book bag. I'll stand here and fight whoever every day. Because I'm standing for what I believe in. I'm not taking no plea. I did not do it. You would have let me go home a couple days earlier if I came up with $900. But since I didn't have the money, now you put a hole on me. So now, because I'm a reoffender supposedly. But how can you reoffend if the charge that you've been charged with is not a validated charge? You're not you're not guilty of it. You haven't been to court. There's no evidence. The witnesses change the story several times. But you're allowed to be put away to make a system money because they're being paid while you're there. And nobody seems to have a problem with that. That can make a change. So. I really hope y'all go check this this story out, man. I mean, it's very, it's very informative, not just for for young men and women, but for adults, for people who are in the uh, social service field. I don't care where you live at. You really need to look at this this story and analyze, you know, the type of uh, society we're working with within, the people we're working with, our justice system our mental health system because they go hand in hand you have a large majority of people doing prison time right now or sitting in county jail or waiting trial or doing dead time somewhere because they were misdiagnosed or because they wasn't diagnosed or because somebody just said screw them we don't feel like dealing with them hit them with the book you know we too busy worried about you know what, what's going on in, in, in pop culture and entertainment, you know, and what's on TV, then to what's really realize what's going on 
that can happen to any one of us at any given time or happen to any one of our children or our, our brothers or sisters, nieces and nephews scooped up just like that. And if your pocket's not right, if you don't have money, you don't have a lawyer on speed dial, you screwed. You just better hope the county you in has a decent jail. Because if not, you screw. You finna sit down for a minute. Imagine sitting down for three years for a backpack you did not steal. In three years, the backpack could have been bought 300 times over. In, re in restitution or whatever, come on. So we allow a system to turn youth, innocent youth, youth that do juvenile stuff such as joyriding and bread trucks not allowing them to live as children and make childish mistakes because of the, the the area they live in because of the home they come from because of their parents because they don't have money and this is a perfect example of what happens when we allow a system and we allow a government to do these things in certain demographics and if we don't wake up before we know it it's going to be Someone close to us that's caught in the same situation, you know, and my hats off and my prayers out to the to uh, Khalif's family, his mother. Like I say, she I, I listened to her story. You know, she's a foster mother. You know, she's had 30, 30 kids in her home in New York City, in the Bronx. I, I, I've been in New York a few times. I know it ain't easy. 30 kids. In New York City And you don't have no money But how the system is set up Is almost set up foster parents That could be great foster parents To fail And to have situations in their homes Where they are stretched out Because they're such good people They can't turn down a baby Who who needs a home Or a child who They already have their sibling And they can't say no But we don't have resources for them We have Hundreds of millions of dollars Hundreds of millions of dollars In Being funded into these private these, these private prisons So that they can pump out furniture and clothing To, to other private companies And make a, make a killing So Let's just um, Let's really just pay attention man Y'all go check that movie out It's called Time The Khalif Browder Story it's on Netflix For y'all who have fire sticks Y'all ain't got no Netflix Y'all know what to do uh, Check it out Support it Pass it on Learn something from it You can take You're gonna take something away from it You're gonna take something away from it Man And you gotta You gotta Really Start focusing in On what's going on So Again I I just appreciate um, This 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 document being This documentary being made Because I mean It was very informative I was I was Very impressed with it And I'm you know, just compelled to to understand more, you know, of about you know what else could have been done or what's been done doing done now, because he's not the only person in this situation. So, you know, inform yourself and inform the people around you that you say you care about and you love. I make these videos to share with people in hopes that somebody listen. I don't care, like I said, I don't care if a million people listen or one person. If I can help one person, we just passing on some information that I picked up. Then I think I'm doing an all right job. So, it, you know, it, it's not about all just hot, key key and la la and all the time, man. We gotta we gotta get real sometime out here in these in our life and in these streets because it's getting it's getting real and crazy out here, and nobody wants to say anything or, or, or point a finger to something that's wrong until it's too late, you know, until somebody dead, until somebody locked up for something they ain't do, you know. To somebody getting a 25 for, for, for having a, some, some weed on them You know So let's get real people man Project Studio TV man Y'all subscribe Y'all like the video if y'all like it Follow me Reach out to me I'm on Facebook Instagram Project Studio TV Rico Jackson on Instagram TK Bethel Facebook I'll put my information below Y'all follow me Y'all have questions Y'all got other uh, Other documentaries Y'all want me to check out Man I'll check it out And I'll review them And I'll put the information Out there And I'll get some more More information to y'all On other things that You may be interested in Just let me know man We here to help each other You know What's the What's the purpose Of getting the information If we're not gonna pass it on To To 
to make it better for other people and ourselves and our, our, our world, man. It's getting crazy out here. The, the sun is, is extra beaming down here in Florida. It's hot. Our power is off because Hurricane Irma came through and did some damage to the lines and Duke Energy is tripping like always. Um, somebody need to be fired over there, but that'd be a different story, a different video. I'm not going to go in on Duke, but yeah. Y'all go check out that time the Khalif Browder story, man. Very impressed with it. And hope y'all do y'all self a favor and go check that out, man. Y'all be easy, be safe, be vigilant, and stay aware. Subscribe. Project Studio TV. I'm Rico Jackson. Appreciate you listening.